Hey everyone, it's Riff Raff, and today we're going to look at Terraria 1.2.3 patch notes. Well, more than just the notes. All the changes that have been reported on the wiki. Let's uh, have a look. Um, oh, <laughs> the creeper has a little blown, and it looks to be some sort of heart bracelet. So that looks like one of the changes where accessories are now showing up on your character. Nymph, you can see her wings. Um, oh, and it looks like the the shield, the Anka shield. All right. So, anyways, let's uh, just jump right in. I'm gonna go through them, give you my take on the changes. I'm running this at 1080p. Apologies if you're watching this on mobile, but uh, I don't think there's gonna be a lot that you're gonna miss. And um, the first thing on the list, you can now name chess. Well, let's try that. Uh, Alright, because I always forget what's in stuff, right? This looks like bones and mud or dirt. Bon bones, dirt, and stone. Alright, so let's see. Oh, here we go. Rename. Uh, bones. And dirt. There we go. Huh, now when you hover over it, it says bones of dirt. Alright, that's cool. Nice feature. Always helps to uh, get things organized. Added in-game settings menu. Oh, yeah, okay. Down here, instead of just the quit game, save and exit just used to be down here. Let's see if we can tweak this a little bit. Bring the sound down a little bit more. Ambient. I don't know why that's up so high. Maybe that's a new setting. Um, auto save, auto pause, pick up text. Okay. Bunch of cool stuff. What the hell was that? Some birds. You hear that? Hmm, cool. Yeah, that's nice. This used to be only accessible outside the, the game, so it's it's really good that they put that in there. So how do I get out of here to escape? I guess so. Anything new up here? Looks like I was still in uh I just finished doing the pumpkin fight, the third one. Um there's now options for the ambient sound, okay. <laughs> that is new then. Save and exit, uh is now in the settings menu, good enough. Add sliders for parallax and volume settings. I'm not too sure what that is. Um, parallax is like this background that moves at a different rate. I saw in a comment on a different video that was uh, talking about underground parallax, so might have to check that out later. Um, more underground parallax, 0%. Oh, I don't know what that does, so. Oh, I can just close the menu from there, good. Um, Game now loads at saved resolution and even remembers if you use the maximized window. That's good because, yeah, there's a lot of times where you'd load up the game and it was in some funky state or uh, a 4x3 resolution or something like that. Reforging cuts is now a third of the value of an item instead of half the value. Okay, so uh, it saves a little bit of money there. Let's see what else. You can now turn platforms into stairs using a hammer. Hmm. Let's try that out. <laughs> Those birds. Do I have any platform here? Here we go. Right. And what am I using for a hammer these days? This probably. Cool. All right. So you can make them. go down. I guess that's not a good spot for this one. If I wanted to keep going. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay. I like that. Anything that adds customization and uh, lets you spruce up your house and bases better, that's cool. Cool. Added infinite wiring support across the map. Okay, the wiring used to have like a maximum amount of... Oh, my map's gone. You couldn't go quite all the way across the map. You had to go 
Now there's a limit. And that limit seems to be removed. So that's cool. You could set up a teleporter to go anywhere else. Updated robe graphics. Um, I don't think I have a robe. That's a uh, specific uh, item of clothing that you can create. I don't want to think. Let's say. Um, let's see. Where? Do I have any silk? What do I do with that stuff? All those birds are getting on my, my, my nerve a little bit. Let me uh, turn that down a bit. I mean, I like them. But not while I'm doing this video. Okay. Um, where would I have the rub? Well, it's a, it's something that you, you craft, I think. Um, and I guess the animations were, sh were messed up. Um, updated music box graphics. Each music box now has a unique design. I don't have any music boxes, so I don't know what that's about. Maybe something from a Christmas event. Music notes now come from music boxes. Alright. Update the graphics for Cobalt Shield, Obsidian Shield, and Paladin Shield. Um, I think I have... I probably have a Cobalt Shield here. I mean, the, the one I have here is... Anka shield, and that doesn't look like that's changed any. Let's see if there's a shield in here. Oh, okay, yeah, it does look different. I don't have a paladin shield, or I don't think so. So I can't look at that, but all right, well, whatever. I don't know why that needed to be done, but whatever. Um, you can now place switches and levers on wall, on the walls. So that's cool. Uh, I already had a switch up here, though. Must be um, those big switches, the ones that. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Let's go check it out. I think I might have some. Uh, yeah, like this one. What do you do it there? They lie. Maybe there's no room for it. We'll find a different spot. Not that I don't believe them. I just want to see it. Ugh. Everything's packed in. This house is too way too cramped. <laughs> Maybe over here. No? wall on the back wall okay oh that's cool oh okay I see what they're talking about well that's neat I like that again more customization that's pretty neat uh, let's get that Tor it's bothering me that torch isn't up there <laughs> all right what else um, accessories now have an option to, to be visible and show on your character this can be toggled on and off that's over here So, yeah, okay, if I want to show the shield, or I don't, I want to show my wings, oh, it looks like uh, they can be, no, everything can be dyed and have uh, a vanity item take its place. So, you want to look like something, but actually have different equipment, you can do that. What's this thing? I mean, I know what it is, but alright, that charms that shit up. I guess some of them do, and some of them don't. Oh, it looks like there's something on the boots, but it's like one pixel with this this robe on. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Let's see, a little easier there. Assuming you're not on a mobile device. <laughs> um, let's see. You can now wear vanity wings. Yep. Wings can be dyed. Dyes are now stackable. Oh, that's, that's useful. Because... My dies or getting, you know, you could, oh wait, these aren't the same? I guess these aren't the same. Not a good example, but do I have any that, I guess I had made more than one of each because the fact that they don't stack, but now you can do that and not worry about it. Uh, it will help organize your dies since you can now die all your accessories and stuff. 
it seems like a pretty good idea to be able to stack those dies. Buckets are now stackable. That's useful. Um, I didn't before. Or stacks now stacks to $9.99. Let's check that out. That's always good. Yeah. Okay, cool. That helps things a lot. I kind of wish they had always been that way, but hey, better late than never. Oh, so much nicer, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Oh, not these ones, though. Oh, those are shadow skills. The meteorite always stacked to 999 before that. Okay. Cool. Now you can hoard even more ores. Which sounds like you're going to have to. Alright, we'll just keep doing this. Da, da, da. We're happy. Alright, OCD tendencies are satisfied. Let's see, what else can we do? Um, added... Oh wait, you can now change cloths, colors at a dresser. That's how it's written. Um, I think this is your default. Do I, I don't even have a dresser. Let's make one. I got some wood. Uh, whoops. Not e. It's been a while since I played. Oh, just escape. Dur. Alright, let's address her this. So, do I have a spot for this? Oh, okay. Oh, I guess it's not gonna be all that useful with all this gear on. I wonder if these go in the right spot now, too. Probably not. I mean, like if I right click, eh. Okay, so here's my default. And for some reason, she's got the, uh, the flare gun going. All right, so if I wanted to, oh man. All right, let's turn these off. It's always something, it's always something. So the default little graphic for Nymph, and it will, we can change the color of her shirt. You can see it changing. That's cool. Again, more customization. Do I have one of these? I guess that's a color. That's her uh, sleeves. So you've got two main colors for the the torso and. Okay, that's her pants. It's really hard to see. It's like two pixels. Yeah, you can kind of see it. It's like three pixels. Okay. And then, oh, you can change your... You don't like red shoes anymore? I can fix that. Let's make um, green shoes. No, let's keep them red. Cool. All right. I'll just cancel. I'll just go with what got us here. Our other stuff back in here. That's, yeah, that's, that's what I figured. Okay, what else do we got? Added control plus Z, X, C, and V. Clear line, cut line, copy line, and paste into line respectively. That's for, I guess if you're a you know, multiplayer, you can, <clears throat> I don't think it's going to let me, but you can chat. There's a, a little chat window. Doesn't let me talk to myself. Uh, the same thing with shift, insert, shift, delete, control, insert, blah, blah, blah. Edit the ability to mine multiple tiles without resetting the hit count on every tile. Uh, I don't know what that means. Uh, oh, maybe it's uh, a way to, to mine faster if you don't have as good of a, uh, a pick. My pick's like pretty much, I don't know exactly, but uh, increase the tile limit to 65k. So I guess it was at 256 uh, bytes before, or 256 different unique tiles. Now it's up to 65k. They've got a 16 bit. Added cactus variations, okay. Added biome specific stalactite variations. So some more variations down. Underground, you can place saplings on all grass types. Cool, so I guess that's for 
if you want to place uh, saplings on your hollowed ground, that kind of thing. Reduce the effect of campfire and heart lantern regeneration. Eh, that's kind of... I don't know if they needed to do that. Was that really OP? OP? I mean, it, it didn't really give you that much regen. Ancient armor drop rate, or sorry, ancient shadow armor drop rate was reduced slightly. Okay, fair enough. Multicolor lighting added to options, or multi-core lighting added to options menu. So I guess you got multi-core. It's got it set to eight, I guess on mine. Then you can use that to help get the lighting effects better. There are now new critter sounds. That's cool. We hear the birds chirping a little bit. Added sounds for waterfalls and lava falls. Okay, so um, I don't know if I have any that are close by. We can listen to that. I don't know if it'll show up on the video, but I might have some down here. I could make one. I could make one over here, I guess. Oh, there's lava down there. <laughs> it's dangerous over here. What's this? Obsidian. What happened here? <laughs> I don't remember. Um. No, I'll go down. Maybe we'll find some. Let's make one. I think I can make one. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember how to do it exactly. Yeah, there we go. Cool. You can. I can. I can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it. So I don't know. Might get a little annoying, but all that kind of stuff is neat. Okay, what else here? Birds are now more likely to spawn in the mornings. Each type has several songs to sing. Cool, cool. When you hover over the text in the interface menu, the text now turns yellow. What does that mean? The interface menu. What is the interface menu? Whoa, how'd that get up there? What is the interface menu? I don't know. I don't care. Um, replaced Tree 9's graphics. So, Tree 9, whoever you were, you got a new graphic. Hope you like it. Players have a longer respawn delay after a non PvP death with a boss alive in multiplayer. So, I guess that's to stop people from ganging up on uh, individual bosses by just dying and running back and. Being silly. Attack! Attack more than that! He's still alive! You, you didn't do the job, Raven. Um, <clears throat> upside down slopes spawn in new worlds. Okay, well, I can make a new world later. Check that out. Oh, added up down, upside down slopes is the one before that. Dark tiles on the map no longer tell you what they are when moused over. I don't remember that ever happening, but I guess that was a thing. Uh, using mana potions now puts a debuff on the player that lowers magic damage based on the amount of time left. So, kind of like the the cooldown when you use a potion, a, a health potion, where you can't use another one for a while. get this debuff. Oh, it's pretty, sh it's pretty short. It's only a few seconds. That's no big deal. Splunker no longer gives off light. This prevents ore from showing up on the map. So I guess if you're using your Splunker potion, you fly all around, you can see all the, the ore that you normally couldn't see. I mean, wasn't that the point of it? Splunker now causes ore to be gold colored on the screen. I kind of like to see what that looks like, but I don't think I have a Splunker Potion on me. Let's head back to the house. Maybe we've got something up here. Uh, let's 
Let's see. Plunker. Where did that go? Oh, I don't want to throw it away. I can't remember how to like, oh, it's right click. There you go. <laughs> it's been a little while to get my terraria legs underneath. So let's see, let's go find some ore and check that out real quick. Probably mined every piece of ore out that's visible in this shaft, I suppose. Um, hey, it's tiny. Or whatever his name is. Rawr, sorry. Oh, there's some more. Alright, so, drink the potion. Oh, okay, cool. So they still show up, they just don't create light. <clears throat> to help reveal things you, you wouldn't normally see. Now, they're all gold, though. So you can't tell what kind of ore it is. That's a little bit... Not that great, but... Alright, in case you need more silver ore, or whatever... Alright, so this Blunker Potion still does its job in terms of showing you where or it is. I guess you can sort of see the pattern. That's a little bit different. Let's see what this stuff is. Sapphire. Okay, so they're still showing the... Uh, the gems too. All right. What else we got? Oh, hey Tim. I guess that was one of the other things. Is Tim shows up more often, so we can get his wizard hat. Yay! He kind of showed up often enough before, so oh, no big deal. Hunter Potion no longer gives off light. Enemies will, will appear in red. Friendly pe creatures will appear in green. Alright, sort of like the they've nerfed the Splunker Potion from showing you extra stuff on the map. They did the same with the Hunter Potion. Slightly reduced the chance for rain. Okay, I guess it was raining a little bit too much. Pyramids are slightly more common. Alright, that's good. If you're looking for your sandstorm, sandstorm in a bottle or the Pharaoh... Or the flying copet. Copet. No one jays -y. Water leaf now only blooms in the rain. This makes sense. Life crystals no longer spawn in the dungeon. Fair enough. Dungeon is no. It's all undead. Why would there be life stuff there, right? I don't know. New items. Added several new paint colors brown shadow and negative paint. Oh, I'd kind of like to see the negative paint. Are those from the. Let's go check that out. Use the mirror. Uh, where's my painter dude? Ah, oh, this house is so busy, it's hard to see down here. Um, let's see. Black paint. Here's brown. Okay, where's negative? Hmm. I don't know, but. I kind of want a new painting, just cause. Um, good morning. All right, well, I won't go with, over those, but we have those new paint colors. I don't know where the negative one is. Let's see here. They added team dye, changes colors depending on the team. All right, cool. I don't know where you get that or how you make it, but it's there. Added beetle armor. Beetle armor, what? Oh, it's new armor. There are two different chess pieces. Looks like there's still some typos in the wiki here. One for melee offense and another for melee defense. Okay, that's cool. Sort of like the turtle, but now we have beetle. Added beetle husks to craft beetle armor. Drops from the golem. 
Kind of such a strong item. Added beetle wings. Added shroomite digging claw. I saw that a little bit too. You can use it kind of a, as a weapon or also, uh, uh, you know, for, as a pickaxe. And it's a pretty strong pickaxe. So, yeah, I mean, you make it out of shroomite, so it's going to be pretty good. What else? Added gem spark blocks and gem spark block waterfalls. I don't know what those are. They sound cool though. Added womanequin. I guess, I don't know. Do we need that? Let's see. Let's make one. What's it look like? Okay, so that's the old mannequin. Mannequin? Here's the old, here's the new woman mannequin. Mannequin. Uh, again, this place is kind of packed. No, I do have a spot. That's the woman? Can I, I can't really tell the difference. I mean, her hands are bigger? I don't know. Oh, it's there. I guess someone wanted it. <laughs> Added several new wallpapers to the painter. Oh. Oh, I bought wallpaper. I thought that was a painting. Well, one silver, okay. Let's see what this is like. Can you just put it over any block? Does this work? You probably have to just use it instead of the wall. I don't like messing around with my house too much, but let's see. Um, oops. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that looks kind of cool, I guess. Neat. I'll leave it like that. So, yeah, that's cool. A lot of different, again, more customization, more ability to make your house look exactly like you want get creative that's pretty sweet I like that um, you can now craft animated speak steampunk tile set out of the cogs that's pretty cool oh, where is that steampunker how many gold yeah I got plenty uh, I'm looking for her. there you are come here Clementine no I mean Emily I know your name. No, I didn't. I really didn't. Where's the cogs? Maybe she only sells them in day or night or something. What time is it? It's morning, so maybe she only sells them at night. Or some other. Check one more time here. Boiler? That's new. Ten gold. Cool. I like it. Well, she must sell them at a different, a different time, different place. I'd like to see how those look. Uh, where are we? Added several new weapon racks that could be made of the sawmill. Oh, cool. Let me try that out. This house is way too small to be doing all this stuff, but... Um, okay. Don't freak out. Too late. Wait. I'm out of wood? I mean, wood. I need some wood. There we go. All right, so we've got, and apparently there's a whole bunch of uh, new furnitures and stuff too, so. I don't think any of that's new. Where? Maybe I, I need some iron or something, some other things. If, if this doesn't work, then I'll just come back to it. Can I stack that? No, that's still, only stacks to 99. Alright. Anyway, what? Oh, yeah, here we go. Sword rack? Spear rack? Helmet rack? Carpentry rack? Oh, you can put all your different tools and stuff on there. That's so cool. Blacksmith? I like that. I love that. Being able to customize your house even, even more. Um, let's see. Where are we? Uh, 
Okay. All bosses now have a chance to drop a boss mask. Cool. I don't know what a boss mask is. Maybe it's just a, a vanity thing. It sounds cool though. Added waterfall and lava fall walls. These are craftable by having a crystal ball and glass near a water or lava source. Huh. Okay. The merchant sell, sells a bug net. Yeah. Come here. I want this bug net. It's mine. Oh, oh, I catch you. Apparently you can catch things. Oh wait, <laughs> I just sell it back to him. I didn't mean to do that. Come here. Come here, bird. I got him. I got the butterfly. Nice, consumable. I can eat the butterfly. I want to eat it. It won't let me. <laughs> they lie. Okay. That's cool. Now you can catch critters. I guess put them in cages and stuff. Yeah. You can now place critters in cages. Uh, I suppose that's something that you craft as well. Um, added crimson seeds. Okay. To there's you got your corruption seeds. So now we've got crimson. Got the counterpart. Added eight new crafting stations. Wow, that's a lot. I think we saw some of those. Saw that boiler one or whatever. Over a hundred new furnitures were added to existing tile sets. Sweet. I like that. Added heavy workbench. Doesn't really say what it's used for. Added, added copper plating, stone slabs, and sandstone slabs. It's a mouthful. They're crafted at the heavy workbench. Oh, they just told us what they're, they're for. Okay, so copper plating, stone slabs, and sandstone, sandstone slabs. Added the venom staff. Okay. And added super mana potions. Neat. New NPC. Added stylist NPC. Congratulations, Rips. I don't know what that means. Sells rare hair dye, changes hairstyle and color, spawned in spider caves. She will also sell new hairstyles. Oh, I guess they're, they're thanking people who mentioned this stuff. Added 20 new friendly critters. I like that. That's always good. Added traveling merchant. This guy I'm looking for. If he showed up while I'm staring at this list, I'll be a little upset. Because I want to buy some stuff from him. He will randomly show up. Once you have at least two NPCs and stay for one day, his inventory will always be random and present things that he's found during his time spent traveling. He has over 30 different things you could sell from what I saw those were mostly cosmetic but hey they that's fun that's fun stuff and I really should go and check my gold farm to make sure that's still working and I might do that while reading the rest of this list because uh, some of the stuff on the list is not I'm not gonna be able to show it that lizard chest so that's cool. You can change the names of the chests around. Definitely will want to do that. All right, let's uh, let's sort of head over there. Let's see if this 1.2.3 is broken in my my farm. I got so much crap in my inventory. Let's just throw some stuff out. Don't need you. I want to keep the pumpkin. Oh man, do I care about silver ore? Get out of my way. Why are you why are these oh, why are these closed? Right. Quick stack. Quick stack. Alright, I put my money away too, that's fine. I like the I like the wallpaper man, that's cool. Yeah, I'm gonna have to really um, revisit this and make a, a neat uh, house or something. Look at all these butterfly. Uh, I got a net, guys. You gotta be careful. Can I put it on the wall or something? I guess I have to put it. Oh, I released it. It was dead for a second, but now now it's released in my house. All right. Well, I can deal with that. Let's over, head over to the lizard temple and and uh, see if anything's different with this setup. Oops. All right. 
Oh, we've got critters in here. I don't know if I like that too much. Are these... This isn't going to work, huh? Oh, I'm not going to be able to test it because they changed... They made it so the golem doesn't spawn. See, in this world... Oh, here they come. I was going to say, in this world, um, the golem isn't destroyed. Um, let's turn on this. Um, stuff going on there. Get the lucky coin. Do I need anything else? Can't remember. Just go look at my video, I guess. Where's my slime stuff? Did I put it away? Is it here? I don't see it. Huh. Well, this is a little embarrassing. I seem to have misplaced my slime stuff. can try it with uh, some ravens, I guess, to start. Oh, they're doing way too much damage. <laughs> it's just murdered. Uh, looks like it still probably will work. I just have to go find my slime stuff. Is it like here and I just don't see it? I guess I was making some room, but... Oh, man. Where is it? Oh, hi guys. Yeah, we don't really need you guys around. Uh, where would it be? Slime staff. Alright. Oh, my trap's running. Alright. Time it. Go, run. <laughs> hey, that's supposed to be down there. Right, let's try this again. Slime staff. Need more of these guys to show up. Grab a water candle. Okay, and this sound is going to be annoying. It doesn't look like anything has really changed here. So this should still work fine. In fact, I'll just let it run while uh, while I go over the rest of this list real quick and I'll let's get my uh, candle out all right this it might still be too loud I don't know Ooh, just make it a little quieter all right cool all right let's let's just uh Go through the other ones really quick here. And there's a lot of them. There's a lot of changes. This is a huge patch. Okay. Um, drastically increase the drop chance of dungeon key molds. Alright, I've gotten all of them except for the ice one so far. I'm not too bent about that. That's fine. They were they were pretty hard to get. And usually by the time that you got them, the items were a little bit um, obsolete. Like, I mean, they're, they're don't get me wrong, they're, they're pretty good still. Yeah, the rainbow gun, the vampire knives. You know, these things are all still quite nice. But, uh, yeah, I mean, by the time that you farmed them all up, usually you had better items from the pumpkin moon or other places. Ice golem now drops a frozen core that's used with hollowed bars to craft frost armor. Okay, that's, 
to fix a loophole in the game. Basically, what you could do is as soon as hard mode was, uh, you know, as soon as your world was switched over to hard mode, you could go and hunt the hunt the ice golem and get frost armor. He would drop one of three pieces, and then you would have you would jump like three or four tiers of armor, get this really strong armor, and start your hard mode. It kind of cut out a lot of the stuff that you needed to do for progression. So that's good. I like I like that change. Um, the pickaxe axe now requires one soul from each mech boss to craft. Okay, so that's another thing. They're trying not to give you the best possible axe by just killing one boss. The drax requires a soul from each boss to craft. Alright, same type of deal. Plantera's ball don't spawn until all three mech bosses are defeated. It just used to be one, so you kill one boss, then you go kill Plantera, and then, what, you could get into the dungeon temple, you could get into the hard mode dungeon, and, uh, did I say dungeon temple? <laughs> the, uh, the jungle temple, or you could do the hard mode dungeon, and that's, uh, that's something that they wanted you to do, I guess, a little bit later, so you're going to have to to buff up a lot uh, more to be able to kill those bosses. Usually you could just kind of get into the hard mode dungeon, make a beeline for that for killing Plantera, get some uber items like the magnet spear, sphere or the paladin's hammer, you know, these type of things. Um, Inferno fork if you're lucky or if you like that kind of thing. And, uh, and then all the other bosses became a lot simpler. So, it sounds like they made that uh, something that, again, they're trying, to, they're trying to prolong the game once you get to hard mode, give you some more stuff to do instead of just uh, going right to the, the end game stuff. Um, there's a lot on this list. The golem has, its, has had its life, defense, and damage increased slightly good. It probably needed more of a buff. We'll have to see what that fight looks like. The golems attacks now penetrate walls in case you were cheesing them somehow. The golem now shoots two beams if you're directly above or below him. Now that may, that sounds a lot tougher because that used to be one of the things. You just sort of uh, attach yourself to the top of the wall, shoot down, and it was pretty trivial. It still may be. It's hard to say, depending on your gear. Increase Golem Fist damage and knockback. Alright, so they've just buffed the hell out of the Golem Fist. I mean, the Golem. They knew he was sort of underpowered. And, um... So, uh, it sounds like, you know, for a boss that was supposed to be fairly tough, I mean, you have to, uh, you know, kill Plantera, and then it was sort of like an end, you know, the an end boss before they added the pumpkin moon and stuff like that. It used to be the thing and then you get to it and it was like super easy. <laughs> so they've really increased that. Increase the size of the temple boss rooms. Alright, that's cool because some of those are kind of small. Wasp gun damage increased by three. That's a pretty big uh, increase. I'll have to go check that wasp gun out. It's supposed to be pretty good now. Golden shower debuff timer is reduced to 10 seconds. I think it was 15 seconds before. It doesn't say here. I, I kind of don't like that. If they were going to nerf the golden shower a little bit, they should have just made it, I don't know, a little bit less effective. Because the thing about this game is sometimes it's difficult to, to, uh, to switch weapons on the fly. So by reducing the debuff time, added... You know, that, that's not really a good mechanic, I don't think, to change because it's already hard enough to switch your weapon, so now you want to, you know, you want to use the, the, the golden shower and then you want to switch to another weapon, now you have less time to do that. Golden shower on, now only penetrates five targets and now does slightly less damage, so that's kind of lame. Um, I guess the golden shower was so OP, everyone was using it. I mean, yeah, I, I wouldn't go without it. It's definitely a cool item. That's a cool mechanic. Instead of just using one weapon on a, a creature, now you can, you know, de use the debuff, switch to another weapon. Just seemed like there's more involved than just. It seems like they dumbed it down a little bit. Auto hammer can now only be bought after killing Plantera. Um, 
Yeah, that's to uh, craft some st craft some more uh, difficult items. The mushroom spear can not only be obtained once you've killed one of the mech bosses. Okay, that's another thing. The, in hard mode, you want to get like an amazing uber weapon. It was super easy just to uh, to do that. You just go and create a little house for your mushroom guy. He moves in. Now you have a mushroom spear, and now everything's dying super easily. Mushroom spear has its sale price increased. It was like 30 gold, so I don't know what it is now. We can go look later. But the hamush can now only be obtained once you've killed a hard mode boss. Okay. Souls now sell for less. Gungnir now sells for less. Well, those are two uh, gold creating items. Gungnir was uh, very good. If you don't have a farm set up like this, you don't have your slime staff or, or whatever, you don't air your lucky coin, you're screwed. <laughs> you get less gold. Those Gungnir sold for like 30 gold each. I mean, it was, it was a very good way to make some gold. Uh, the Hamlish just had its sale price increased. I don't remember. Uh, that, that sounds like um, the hammer that you would buy from the, the mushroom guy. I don't think I ever bought it. Poison staff cross staff do less damage now. Really? I didn't think they were that great, anyways. Chlorophyte is slightly more rare and grows slower. I don't really think that was necessary either. It seemed like it was pretty balanced fairly well, in my opinion. It seems like, you know, they're trying to make the, the end game stuff last longer. Leaf crystal does a bit more damage and shoots faster. Leaf crystal. At the leaf blower, the rod of discord now takes one sixth of your life rather than one fifth. That's a pretty minor change. Uh, I don't have a rod of discord. That's one of the things I have yet to farm up. Um, the rod of discord debuff now lasts eight seconds, down from ten. So that's I guess uh, both of those things are uh, buffs to it. Slightly buffed shotgun, Maro, and ice bow. Cool. I actually have an unreal ice bow. Is one that I got. And was using that for a while. It was pretty cool. Slightly buffed repeater damage. Increased the damage of the Terra Blade. Well, good, because it was kind of lame, actually. Increased the, the damage of True Excalibur. And increased the damage of True Knight's Edge. Alright, so all those um, sort of end gamey type weapons. Terra Blade, True Excalibur, and True Knight's Edge shoot beams more rapidly. Well, that's cool. I have to try that out. Rainbow Rod does more damage. Rainbow Guns Rainbow now lasts 10 seconds. What was it before? Hmm. Well, I don't know. Buffed Unholy... I think it was a lot less. So I think the Rainbow Gun get a buff. Buffed Unholy Spear Use Speed. Unholy Spear Use Speed. Okay. I don't think I have an Unholy Spear or don't care too much about it. Lowered the damage of Chlorophyte Bloods. That's too bad because those are pretty cool. And... I didn't think that they were at all uh, overpowered. They were sort of the go-to uh, bullets to use, though. I mean, you know, especially if you're going to reduce chlorophyte spawning on the world, you really need to reduce the damage of the bullets. Even with the tactical shotgun, it was uh, definitely, you know, not overpowered, in my opinion. New hard mode or spawn slightly less and slightly harder to craft. Palladium pickaxe can no longer mine adamantite and titanium that's kind of seemed like it was broken anyway so you first get to hard mode you grab a some uh paladin the the first chance you get and then all of a sudden you can mine any ore in the game well except for chlorophyte but you get the idea now you can't do that anymore it sounds like you have to go through the progression meter heads no longer drop loot in hard mode okay well that's a big one that one will almost certainly invalidate the um, ability to use that uh, the farm to farm treasure maps and uh, I guess people were using it to farm the key molds too although I haven't really bothered with that um, I don't know how I feel about that I guess it's it's gonna be really really hard to get this gold coin now if I guess you have to set up another uh, another type of farm. Maybe I'll experiment with that and see if we can figure out a, a way to make a new treasure map farm. But as for now, my old one sounds like it's done. 
increase lost girl spawn chance uh this is one of those things you know the lost girls spawns really randomly i i probably put a couple hundred hours into this game and i've seen her three or four times and fortunately one of those times she dropped the banner which is the only thing that she really drops you know if you're going for a complete banner that was sort of like the holy grail and i was really proud of of my luck <laughs> not really something to be proud of but you know i was happy that i got it done victory over the rng but now that's going to be slightly easier i don't know it didn't say slightly it's just an increased lost girl spawn chance so she'll probably show up a lot more often i don't know if that uh, she shows up in hard mode that might be something that's just uh, pre hard mode only if that is the case then you want to have a world for searching uh, again i don't know so scourge of the corrupted does slightly more damage I don't know that who that is i forget corruption crimson and hollow grass will spreads will wall spreads further so this may mean that you have to create a, a bigger perimeter for uh, that kind of stuff if you want to try to protect your house from those those things growing your base is in hard mode frost burn debuff now does more damage over time hey that's cool because that's a really neat uh effect and the frost armor you know uh, whatever you hit if you hit something while using the frost armor that's that's the uh, the set bonus for it. it it automatically puts frost burn stuff on it which is sort of like fire but it's like a blue fire that gives off flames that's pretty neat added specter mask and specter damage set bonus now they've done something with the the specter armor and i'll have to check that out but Apparently you now have a different, you can have two different masks, one that's more offense and one that's more life regen. Nerfed Spectre Healing Helmet. I mean, they just straight out, they don't even mix men's world words, they're just saying nerfed it. Um, I guess you probably don't get as much uh, health back from the healing part of that now. Spectre Healing Armor. Now it uses more mana instead of decreasing mana usage oh okay so if you want to use the healing armor you're not going to be able to just spam stuff so much i mean that was kind of the go-to way to go so i don't know maybe it's going to annoy some people that um that relied on that and i i did too i mean i, I basically played this game as a magic build so there's um it's a good possibility that that's uh that will affect me when I switch back to that, I've been using the, the melee stuff for doing these boss fights. Uh, Retinazer shoots a, lasers a bit slower and they do slightly less damage. Okay, because that was that's the uh, on the twins, the twins boss. That's one of the eyeballs that was just pretty annoying. The North Pole now does less damage and has a cap on his projectiles. That's some sort of weapon you get from the Frostmoon event, and I never got that, so I haven't done a Frostmoon yet. So it's nerfed before I even get my hands on it. Great. <laughs> Increased Scourge of the Corruptor's damage. It sounds like a weapon. And I don't have that. Pre-hard mode balance changes. Lesser mana potions are no longer craftable. They will all always be sold by the merchant. I don't know why they needed to do that. Maybe it was just too easy. Tim is now more common. We already saw him in this video already. Increase the B-Gun damage by one. I guess you had to increase that because you increased the Wasp damage. That was a pretty weak weapon anyway. So I'm glad that they buffed it. Hopefully one makes a, some sort of difference. Nature's Gift is now slightly more common. I already found so many of those. I don't see why they needed to, but hey, whatever. Increased mana usage of gem staves. All right, so that was another thing. Like with 1.2, I think came out they introduced these gem staves so if you could get a certain amount of gems together i don't know if it was 10 or 9 or something like that you could create a staff that was a magic staff it was much stronger than almost any weapon you're going to find for a long time so it sounds like uh they made that so you couldn't use it as a i win button when you're first starting the world uh, i mean let's see well slightly lower the damage at higher tier gem staves i guess the same type of thing it wasn't that hard to find you know 10 diamonds or 10 rubies or something and, and make this badass weapon right from the start so they want to have you go through the progression a little bit you know feel like you're getting stronger over time not just get these huge spikes in power lowered value of magic damage and 
Or sure, magic dag dagger and bee gun. Wait. Oh, I lowered the value of it. I guess people were selling those for gold and getting rich. Uh, who needs gold? Not me. Sp sped up world loading a bit by directly copying tile data from runs. Or right, these are in optimization optimizations. Can't talk this morning. Terry has more efficient format of world saves. On average, it's 20% of their previous size. Okay. Lighting no longer loads on servers. Saves 50 megs of memory. Sped up world. Clean clearing when changing from one offline world to another. All right. So these are a bunch of little optimizations. I don't know if I have to go through them all, but if I can read quickly and efficiently, maybe I can go through some of them. Optimize lighting code for better performance. Optimize rain performance. Sped up rain cl cloud mode and made it draw better. I had some rain clouds above my thing. I didn't see any different. I guess it was just they just made the code work better. If you have a lot of rain clouds, maybe it was creating creating a f frame drops or something. Reduce net code data usage for tiles by 75 to 85 percent. That sounds like a lot. 85 percent uh, optimization. That's pretty neat. You probably won't ever see it. Just the game will run a little bit faster. Um, if you're playing online with other people, which I haven't had a, a chance to do too much. I would have liked to. Map drawing changed to work over time rather than lock up the machine while it happens. Okay, maps draw faster. And save their files are and their save files are 60 percent smaller these are all good things you know they're kind of under the hood move tile framing to real time to cut out having to do it during world load removed overhead when drying tiles and walls light mode zero slash one run 15 percent faster and some of the stuff i don't know what the hell they're talking about checking world alignment sped up significantly checking world alignment folded into load world blah 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 all right well, those are the optimizations. They're done with those. They're kind of boring. And then there's a whole bunch of bug fixes. I mean, shh, hundreds. Hundreds. Um, Pumpkin Moon and Frost Moon can now be started when using a snowman pet. I don't have a snowman pet, but that's kind of cool. Oh, I guess you couldn't do it if you had a snowman pet out. The game will now verify that there's a lizard altar at the end of world gen this should hopefully fix the bug when sometimes being none that happens way too often mouse will no longer function if you have a window over terrarius window you can no longer waste boss summon items by using them after that boss is spawned these are all good bug fixes fix a bug where too many waterfalls will crash the game fix a bug while mana stars were not dropping in multiplayer fix a bug where numerous npcs would could spawn if you beat a hard mode boss and non hard mode non hard mode world instead of consuming two blocks extractinating has a chance of giving a smaller amount of money okay I guess all right the golem's evil plans are no longer foiled by platforms I guess people were just doing all sorts of nasty things to that golem invasions now spawn enemies Anywhere near friendly NPCs instead of just in the middle of the world. Um, hmm. Okay. One of the twins can no longer despawn as long as the other is still active. Destroyer now drops loot on the closest segment to the player. Hey, that's cool. So you're not looking <laughs> all through the ground and all through the sky for your loot. I like that. Fixed sugar cookie typo. All waves in Frost Moon correctly use Flocko in the warning. I have to try that Frost Moon. It's going to be a lot tougher now, I think, that they've made these changes, some of these changes. Boulders with chests on them no longer crash the game if the boulder is hit. Red stucco is no longer, or no longer spreads corruption. <laughs> wow, who would have known that? Piggy Man can safe now correctly combine coins when qu qu quick stacking. I thought they did before. They were fine before. What? I guess it, there was there was cases where it didn't work. Changed how damage tooltips are generated so weapons get the full damage boost percent instead of losing a bit to float precision. Nurse long, no longer charges for or 
removes the po potion cooldown, heart lantern, and campfire boss. Oh, she removed those? I didn't notice that. Fix the bug where moving very large quantities of water could leave some water floating. I've seen that in some playthroughs. Fix bug where the ancient kobold armor pieces did not grant critical strike chance. Fix bug where inactive tiles counted for sticky purposes. Fix bugs where wings appear too high when on a mount. Made hoverboard not appear on a mount. Fix bug where sign bubbles would appear in the wrong place at reverse gravity. <laughs> Alright, there's too many here. I'm not going to go through them all. This is crazy. You get the idea pretty much. There's a lot of bug fixes. A lot of these I didn't even know what was going on. <laughs> like you use this, the scope, the binoculars when using reverse gravity. Apparently that screwed things up. Or the Discord had some problems with reverse gravity. <laughs> you could p apparently put a campfire in water at some point. Golem and Plantera now drop money, 15 gold each. That's not, is that a bug? I guess that was a bug. They're putting it in the bug list. Fixed princess robe not having a bottom. Whoa. Oh, wearing frost armor no longer makes spiky ball traps give frostburn debuffs. I wonder, cause one thing that was happening with this lucky coin I saw is here, I'll move my mouse a little bit. If some, if like if this flying thing, the flying snake gets hit by one of these, it seemed to only happen with the flame traps. Although it may have happened with other things, you could sometimes get the copper, the uh, the lucky coin to proc. I'm looking for some gold. I don't see any. Maybe they fixed that too. Because, yeah, I mean, it would, like, drop some gold coins over here. Alright, well, that's pretty much it. You get the idea. Tons of bug fixes. Lots of new decorations. Houses. House items. Furniture. A couple new pieces. Uh, armor sets. This is still working, though, as we can see. Seven platinum. It's kind of going kind of slow. I don't know. I don't have a full uh, set of. I'm just using these three tiki pieces, but I don't think that matters too much. Let's grab this gold. There's a lot over here. What is that? It's a snail! What do you? <laughs> that snail just got wasted. <laughs> oh man! All right, so this is still working. I'm glad. I'm glad for that. I uh, was was wondering if if some of the changes would have cha would have messed with my gold farm, but nope, still working. Well, I guess it does mess with it because it's going to be super hard to get the lucky coin now without being able to farm up those treasure maps. Unless you're unless you're lucky, you know. It took me about 50 maps. And that's not an exaggeration. It was 50 to 60 maps to actually get those pirates to drop me a lucky coin. I know some people got on the first try. Good for you guys. That's not always going to be the case. So That certainly remains the most difficult part of getting this farm set up. And, uh, yeah. I have to play around with Traria some more. Let's get the Frost Moon stuff going. And maybe get some multiplayer stuff going. Who knows? Well, I'll leave it here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Thanks a lot.